Hey everybody, I wanted to create a video um, to talk about uh, the current situation um, in India and in Nepal, um, specifically with uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I think a lot of people who know me know um, just how transformative um, Nepal has been. Going to Nepal and getting to know um, incredible people in Nepal has been for my life um, with the work that I've done through Open World Cause, but also um, just uh, getting to know um, Govinda and Suda Panthi and Swachalika Panthi, who are essentially like family to me now. And I know right now um, in the United States with our access to vaccines, um, like I, I don't know if I've ever felt as fortunate and as privileged as I do now um, with the fact that, you know, Natalie and I have a, have a seven month old, turned seven months today, son named Alex, uh, who is just brings us so, so much joy. And knowing that not only are we vaccinated, not only is Pearl, um, our roommate vaccinated, our families are vaccinated to, um, to protect Alex as much as possible. Um, and I felt incredibly fortunate looking at how devastating COVID-19 has been in India and Nepal over the last month. Um, I will attach articles uh, for you to look at uh, just to see how bad the pandemic has been. But to put it in perspective, um, India has given permission for people to give funeral rites to family members in their households. People are literally cutting down trees in public parks so that they can build funeral pyres for family members. Uh, it is at that level. Uh, 400,000 people have been testing positive. Hundreds of thousands of people have been testing positive in India um, every day. And they think that might be, that number might be low because India has 1.4 billion people. A lot of people in India do not have access to testing. They think that number could be much, much higher. Um, India has critical shortages of oxygen tanks right now. And now India's, uh, the variant in India and the pandemic in India has now spread to Nepal. Um, the situation in Nepal is absolutely dire. Um, Nepal um, is critically short on oxygen tanks. They're turning people away from hospitals because they simply do not have the capacity um, to help uh, to help people in hospitals right now because at, um, as of yesterday, 47% of people in Nepal who were getting COVID testing were testing positive. Um, Nepal also has, um, and, um, and parts of India, um, many parts of India really struggle with malnourishment. And according to research done by um, the Nebraska Hospital um, in um, Omaha, uh, malnourishment is one, a major risk factor for COVID. And so I'm attaching organizations, incredible organizations um, that are providing critical supports to India and Nepal right now. Um, uh, specifically uh, United Visions. Uh, United Visions International was started by Indian doctors uh, to provide oxygen tanks, uh, to provide uh, healthy meals for people and critical supports for people throughout India. And I'm also attaching a fundraiser that was started by folks in Nepal who have moved abroad uh, to the United States and, and to other places around the world who are raising money for oxygen tanks in Nepal right now. Um, um, it is. Uh, it has been absolutely devastating throughout India and throughout Nepal. Um, and I know it, it's. It feels so close for, for the pandemic being over in the United States, but it is not over for so many parts of the world right now. So I would ask you if you can take this moment to consider making a small donation uh, to help people in this worldwide fight. Um, a little bit of money could help um, could help people um, who are facing a devastating disease, who are um, who have no place else to turn right now, who do not have access access to oxygen tanks. A small donation can go a long way um, to helping people survive. But also, this is a global fight that we all have. Um, I know, um, as we all know, um, you know, every time COVID infects someone else, it increases the risk of a variant that will have escapability from uh, from the vaccines that we had. This is a global fight that we have and also specifically this is a way for us to help people who badly need help right now um, so I'll attach uh, these two fundraisers at the bottom of this post right now and it would mean so much for me if you considered helping um, helping um, this incredible fight that India and, the, and that the people of India and Nepal are facing right now um, thank you so much